Alrighty then, Saturday night, time for mystery meat curry. This is from the freezer. I think it's chicken, but I'm not totally sure. So I'm going to throw it in the microwave. Then we're going to start our curry with browning an onion, if I can rescue it from the bag, and then we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Curry coming up. That last scene cut my head off. Well, I guess that means time to aid the cook. <laughs> Stay tuned. Chicken's in the microwave, onions coming up. Get the pan heating up. Then it's, uh oh, microwave talking. Stove on, cat talking, just like. Just like normal. The fine Wagner Ware cast iron pan. For a while I tried out the new fangled non-stick things. Turns out that these are the best pans in the world. They never wear out. They cook great. Clean relatively easily. They're wonderful. All the onions are coming along. Well, the mystery meat did turn out to be chicken. Okay. And so we are in business and they're going right in with the onions and I'll let the onions keep cooking while these cook around them. And now the secret ingredient, oh not that, Penzi's Vindaloo curry seasoning. A great mix. Has all the things uh, you're going to love in it. I used to make all my curry spices uh, by hand and you know mix them all custom-made uh, Penzi's Vindaloo, way easier, yummy. So I put some garlic in, the chicken's browning up nicely. In just a sec, I'll start dumping, uh, there's some leftover, dumping some Vindaloo in here. And, uh oh not there. <laughs> Let's uh, scrape that out at the bottom here, shall we? And uh, heat that up a little bit. Give it some more flavor. Um, did I mention the hot peppers? Oh yeah, a few of these for zing. And uh, yeah, they'll add just, just what it needs. Mmm, that's getting there. Wally well, decided to come over here and uh, give us a hand on the cooking. Hi Wally. Good girl. Yep, she's a good girl. And Action! <laughs> Alrighty, now I'm going to uh, throw a handful of raisins into the, into the curry here while it's cooking. That gives a little bit of sweetness. Some people will hold those till the end. I like to cook them in there so I don't have to artificially sweeten it. Then I'm going to chop a few of these little carrots, throw those in for flavor. And then back here in the uh, in the brew, covered. Did you talk about the pan? So here's one of the secret ingredients: mix hot pepper jelly. This is their Buzztail, the second hottest that they make. Beyond Buzztail is well a bit beyond. So mix a secret ingredient. All right, this is Helen Lynn's famous mango chutney. Uh, Helen's my mother. She's 95 now, going on 96 in another couple of months. These mangoes are from a tree uh, that was planted when I was born, just a few years ago. <laughs> and it's produced uh, mangoes for a long time, and every year she has managed to uh, produce quite a batch of mango chutney, delicious mango chutney that we're going to use tonight with this uh, curry. I uh, decided at the last minute to throw in a few colored, tiny colored peppers just for color and uh, apart from that we're on the final stretch. Here we go. A little bit of last minute color. Throw them in. Let them cook for a couple of minutes, 
We're good to go. Alrighty then, we're in the final boarding stage. Plating the wonderful curry, complete with color, on our wonderful, what kind of plates are these? Uh, those Blue, are Ridge. Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge. Southern Potteries. Southern Potteries collectible plates. I'm sure some of you out there will appreciate that touch. <laughs> and there we are. Here we are on the table, complete with Complete with our curry plate, Mita's picky plate, avocado, carrots, olives. Is that a little bit of leftover asparagus? Mm mm mm. Some wine. Oh, we're in good shape. And what's this over here? Uh oh. That's Toby. Oh my goodness, it's Toby a cat. Woo! Alrighty, we are ready to go. Eat and eat. Yeehaw! Sorry for the shaky final scene here, but that's the way it is getting up close and personal with our chicken curry.